virtual being dismantled. Harry and Meghan in boiling water as their top staff quit one by one. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have lost another key aide after parting company with their global press secretary, the latest of at least 12 of their top staff to leave since 2018. Toya Holness, who has a degree in strategic PR from the University of Southern California, joined the Sussexes in October 2020 and was promoted to oversee their PR on both sides of the Atlantic in March last year. She has previously been described as Meghan's shadow, having often been seen wearing the same style of power suits and Hollywood sunglasses. The former football player had been one of a small band who speak to Harry and Meghan daily, but is understood to have parted ways with the couple, the Sunday Times reports. It follows the departure of Chief of Staff and Director of Archul Catherine St. Laurent in March last year, after little over 12 months in the role. She was said to have wanted out after finding herself having to fulfill a great many functions for the couple, insiders claimed. Many royal fan commented on this news. One said, these two seem to recruit more new staff than McDonald's does in a year, on a global scale. Says a lot about them as employers. One royal fan commented, to paraphrase, to lose one is unfortunate, to lose twelve smacks of carelessness. One more added, that speaks volumes about that bear. Harry and Meghan have been dogged by the departure of top aides since their wedding in May 2018, including private secretaries, communications staff, a personal protection officer and the executive director of Harry's Sustainable Tourism Initiative Travelist. Senior Communications Secretary Katrina McKeever, a point of liaison for Meghan's family during the first months of the couple's relationship, quietly left their press office in September 2018. Two months later, Meghan's personal assistant Melissa Tubarty is said to have handed in her notice after the Duchess had left her in tears with her demands, it was claimed. In January 2019, a female royal protection officer also quit her job as the top bodyguard for Meghan. The officer, who has not been named for security reasons, had been head of Meghan and Harry's security for less than a year when she left the role. At the time, a Scotland Yard spokesman said, it's for personal reasons and absolutely nothing to do with the Duke or Duchess, who are hugely disappointed at losing her. In March 2019, it was announced that Meghan's deputy private secretary Amy Pickerill would be leaving her role following the birth of Archie in May. Meghan described the loss as very sad, with sources insisting the split was amicable with Ms Pickerill moving abroad. She played a key role during the Duchess Royal Tour to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga, including helping to whisk Meghan to safety during a scare at a market. That same month, Jason Knauf quit his senior role as a communications secretary for both the Sussexes and the Cambridges to become the chief executive of the, the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Christian Jones joined Mr Knauf in making the move. Long-serving royal aide and the former private secretary to the Queen Samantha Cohen left her role in December 2018. Ms Cohen resigned and took up a volunteer job with Cool Earth an organization that aims to halt tropical deforestation. Diversity campaigner and social entrepreneur Natalie Campbell, who was tasked with running the Sussex Royal Charity Foundation in June 2020 after just five months. Ms Campbell, who was heralded as Harry and Meghan's big hire to lead the foundation, left to become the chief executive of water company Bellew. The Sussex's director of communications Sarah Latham was made redundant when the couple decided to leave the UK for California, via Canada. Ms Latham then took on a role advising the Queen's private office on special projects. Heather Wong, who worked as the Duke of Sussex's assistant private secretary at Kensington Palace for three years before Harry and Meghan quit the royal family, left her role as executive director of Travelist in March last year.